Hey everyone, it's Jackie, and today I'm gonna review four Yes Style products. An eyeshadow palette, a blush, a liner. Uh, you'll notice in the next clip I'm wearing something completely different. It's because I lost the footage for this first bit, so I'm refilming it. Just to let you know that this isn't sponsored, but Yes Style did send everything to me for free. I have an affiliate code, it is Mujitsu Ko, and it gets you 10% off. I'll put it on the screen and also down below if you were interested in buying anything from Yes Style. Again, it's not sponsored, but it did get everything for free. Of course, I'm going to review things fairly and honestly, regardless of whether I got it for free or not. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. So before I get started, I'm gonna show you all the products that I'm gonna be using and roughly how much they cost. First, there is this palette. It's by Moonshot. It's called Rêve de Paris eyeshadow palette. So um, everything in this set is themed pink or red. It was originally for the Lunar New Year, but I'm uh, a little bit slow. <laughs> um, next, we have this Can Make Blush. Uh, it is in number five. Uh, I actually have a few of these already. They're really good and I 100% recommend them. They're great for blush. You can use them as eyeshadow, lip, lips, everything. I 100% recommend them. Oh, sorry. And the eyeshadow palette is $30. And the Can Make Blush is $14.61. Um, again, this is in Canadian dollars. Sorry, everybody else. I will, <laughs> I will attempt to put some other currencies down here so that you can figure it out. But in the meantime, this is $14.61 Canadian. And then we have Romand Zero Velvet Lip Tint. Velvet Lip Tint. And there are 11 colors of this and I picked number one. I picked number one. <laughs> Hopefully it's this color. It's kind of very nice and bright. Uh, and then and this is this retails for $11.79 Canadian, which is insanely cheap. Like all of this makeup is very reasonably priced. Um, finally, we have this McQueen waterproof uh, eyeliner. Uh, this one is it's supposed to be they're all like shiny, I think. I purposely picked this one because I thought it was really pretty. They had like blacks and stuff too, but I have a lot of black eyeliner. And so I picked this one out because it's a nice pink one and I think it would go to make it like a nice soft look. We're definitely gonna go for a soft look today. Okay, so I think we'll start with, uh, I guess, the blush. Um, here it is in its glory. It kind of looks like plastic on the camera. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna use my finger. And you just dab it on. As you can see, it's kind of subtle. It's not super over the top, but it is very buildable. So you can keep going over it even more and get more coverage. Um, because these are cream, uh, it's nice to put a, a powder over top if you want it to stick for long. I can really see it now. I'm gonna take the sponge just to soften it up a bit. You can bring it across like this if you want. You can give yourself really rosy cheeks. These are designed for New Year's because I know uh, in in Lunar New Year, uh, red is a good luck color. I don't know too much. I did live in China for three years, but uh, I do not claim to be an expert. I am sure there are some amazing Asian YouTubers who have explained Chinese New Year really well. Uh, if I can find any, I'll link it down below. I do know that it is the year of the cow or ox, depending on where you you hear it from. Uh, it is actually my sister's year. Uh, I, for those who are wondering, I am the year of the tiger. All right, I think it's good. I'm nice and rosy. <laughs> right, so now we're gonna take the eyeshadow palette. Let's open her up. Oh, it says in here, 
a romantic scent up the street by infusing graceful French atmosphere dream for a deeper mood of self, myself. Ooh, that's a handful. Anyways, let me just... And then without that, this is the palette. There's actually, this is a perfect travel palette because it's it's got lots of the neutral colors. Like you can have a very soft look, you can have a very dark look. It looks like these could be used obviously for the center of the eye, but also as a highlight almost. I know specifically with a lot of Asian makeup, uh, usually using your finger is the best way to go, but uh, I like to use brushes sometimes too. It gives a softer look. Uh, I think that's what we're gonna go for today with this. Uh, I might swatch a couple first, just so you guys can see. Like I'll pick this darker one here. And let's pick a lighter one. Seems pretty good to me. And I do like even lighter, but it won't show up on my skin, unfortunately. Um, all of my brushes are from various places. So this one is Luxie. This one is Wet n Wild. This one is Sephora. This one is Luxie again. I really like Luxie, I guess. Yeah, let's go in. I like to start with the lightest color first uh, and then build into the darker colors. It's completely up to you what you want to do though, of course. So I'm just gonna center here, put some light stuff. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, I now have eyebrows. <laughs> I recently got my eyebrows microbrowed uh, because my hair is blonde naturally and you can't really see <laughs> the existence of eyebrows without it. So I really appreciate that. Um, so as I said before, the like pale white color never really shows up on me, but it definitely helps uh, blend stuff in later. So I just put it here and here. Um, I think I'm gonna go for this pink. I actually really like this pink here. So we're gonna take this, but I'm gonna pick like a more flat brush to put it on and just tap it all across my lid, I think. It's a lot darker than I thought it would be. Damn, the pigment on that is crazy. Um, and then the key is to take like a more round brush to blend it out and just blend it. Keep a blending, 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 blending. I also like to bring uh, a little bit of the color down underneath my eye. Ah. Usually it kind of evens everything out. We're gonna do that too. And now we'll do the other eye. So now that we have this color on, I'm gonna actually add a little bit more to this eye. Sorry if you can hear all these crazy loud noises. Um, I'm in my sunroom because we don't really have a lot of space. We live in Vancouver and Vancouver is not known for having as large apartments. Right. So then I think um, to darken it up a bit, I'm gonna use this and maybe a little bit of this, but not too much because I don't want anything too heavy just in this area only. And I'm using a round fluffy brush this time. <laughs> yes. This is the key to all eyeshadow looks. Just for the record, blending. Just keep blending. Just keep blending. And then if you feel like this line is too harsh, you can also like take some of the lighter colors and mix it with the lighter pink. This pink is quite darker than I expected. You can blend in the edge a bit more. So that blended. I feel like we should use one of these sparkly ones. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one here and see how it goes. Uh, generally, sparkles do best on your finger. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, very pretty, very pretty indeed. Now that we've done that, let's also just test out this pencil I'm all in my hand here. Oh wow, that's so smooth. This feels like um, like it could be Makeup Forever or like Urban Decay. All of those have that like really smooth, smooth uh, eyeliners as well. Anyways, I'm gonna use this all along the edge here 
and then probably underneath a bit too. It's just probably gonna give it a little bit of shine. Fill her in, you know, tight line everything. Can anybody ever do eyeliner without looking like an idiot? Like, sometimes I try to focus on not being an idiot and it just end up opening my mouth anyways. I feel like this would be really good just on its own too. Like you could just use this um, as a liner by itself on your eye and it would look really cute. Like frame it with some pink. I guess it's kind of more of a, a corally pink than an actual pink. <laughs> Sorry if the camera just suddenly changed positions. Uh, my camera died, so I had to readjust everything. Anyways, back to this, where we're going to put our last bit on, which is the lipstick, the lip tint, if you will. I'm gonna focus on the inside and probably blend out a bit, so it's a little bit of a soft lip. Yes, whoa, that is some bright stuff. Okay, so, I like to Slowly bring it out of it using my own finger. And this color would be great for summer, I think. It's quite bright. I don't normally wear this bright of a color, but I don't think it looks bad. What do you think? Let me know down below. Um, making any edge really soft uh, naturally makes it a little bit more forgiving if you're not like perfect and um, without a lip liner it's pretty hard to make things perfect mm -hmm. nah. ah. well yeah that's the lips it's so much brighter than the rest of the makeup now <laughs> I'm gonna just finish this look off camera and then I will be back to tell you how I feel about everything. Okay, so we're back. This is the final look. Overall, I think every product that I tried was really good. Uh, if you're curious, uh, all I really did was put mascara on and I used this Sky High one from Maybelline. I'm not really a big fan of it, to be honest. I mean, I bought it because of TikTok. Like, probably everybody is buying stuff nowadays. Uh, I bought it because of TikTok, and I mean, it was okay. It's okay, it's just not like as crazy, at least my eyelashes do not look as crazy huge as everybody else's. They look about the same, but um, I find I have another one by Kiss Me that I normally use, but I'm using this one up, and I recommend that Kiss Me one, which is a Japanese brand, which I'll happily link down below. I'm pretty sure Yes Style also sells it. Favorite things of the day? Uh, I don't know. I kind of like everything. Everything was really good, so <laughs> I have no complaints. Uh, I highly recommend it. And if you want to check out Yes Style, again, I have links down below. I also have an affiliate code that I think gets you 10% off. Uh, I will write that down below, but it is Mujitsu KO. It is my username uh, for pretty much anything. Anyways, if you liked this video and you missed my makeup videos, please let me know down below because maybe I can do some more makeup videos, maybe some costume ones again. I haven't been doing them because everybody's stuck at home and who is really wearing makeup especially under these masks i know there has been a few people who have asked me uh, about my skincare routine and i will happily share that soon in the future too i just have a few videos that i want to get up before <laughs> i do another makeup video putting up some figure videos i'm unsure i filmed a pokemon card video but i don't know how much interest there is in that and also you're just gonna see how poorly I remember all of the Pokemon characters' names. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you to Yes Style for sending me these things. Uh, I hope to get to work with them again soon. This is awesome and I uh, appreciate you and everyone. Stay safe. Bye! Things about Yes Style is they always send you free samples. Uh, this is something they sent with my package. Yeah, if you like to try new things, they always send huge samples. 
Uh, this one is for... Uh, oh, it's an oil cleanser, which I can definitely use after using makeup. 